Disclaimer! What you're about to see is a ripoff of Nathaniel Bandy's Triggered series. The idea behind this video originated from his channel, and I would highly recommend his content. I made this video out of my love for his channel and his content. I hope you enjoy, and now, onto the real intro. <clears throat> WARNING! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. The Big Dong has his own country now, and it's quite the good time, let me tell you. Donkey Kong Country? Since when did DK ever own his own country? Also, this isn't even a country. It's an island, but I guess country sounded cooler, so whatever. This game opens up with a nice scene of Cranky Kong vibing to some classic Donkey Kong theme, but then DK jumps out of nowhere and knocks him off the screen to listen to his own music. That was a douchebag move, but guess what? After DK does that, Cranky Kong grabs a barrel of TNT and throws it at him. Guys, can't you both just get along? You will never be cool enough to have your big ass head carved into a giant mouth like this. Sorry, just accept it. Look at how messy Donkey Kong's house is. You need some serious tips on house cleaning, man. While I admit that the graphics are pretty impressive for the Super Nintendo, they still haven't aged all that well. I'm glad that multiplayer is an option, but this game wasn't really made for that kind of thing. Also, if you're playing by yourself and find Diddy Kong, he doesn't really do anything except follow you around. The Kong letters are pretty pointless in this game because they're super easy to collect, and all they do is give you an extra life. The bonus rooms are a cool idea, but most most of them are really lame because it takes no effort to collect all the bananas. I really hate that they added these giant wasps to the game. I'm terrified of wasps, and this isn't helping at all. These underwater levels are neat, but they're not very interesting. Wait, you can ride a swordfish? I'm sorry, but you can't just casually hop on a swordfish and expect everything to be fine. They don't like that sort of stuff. And you can ride a giant frog? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And an ostrich? Like, why can't I do any of this stuff in the newer games? That would have been really cool. Why can't I play as Funky Kong? He's literally the best Kong of all time, but you're just going to tease me like that? That is one lanky monkey. The Kremlins speed by so fast in the minecart section that it's honestly hard to see them coming. This red light, green light stage is freaky as hell. The level is very dark, and you have to move very fast to keep the red light on and keep the Gremlins from advancing towards you. The boss fights are way too easy. I guess the only kind of difficult one is King K. Rule, but even he's not that bad. And on top of that, some of the bosses are repeats, but just reskin and have slightly stronger attacks. I'm not gonna lie. This level in the game reminds me a lot of the Ewok village in Star Wars. Never thought I'd bring that up on this channel. Queen Bee doesn't even look like a queen. She's just a zinger, but a lot bigger. Hold on, there are Nintendo branded bananas? I want to try one of those. The winter section is pretty cool, but the snow effect on screen is very distracting from the main gameplay. Wait a second. Why are there other Kongs trying to attack me. Dude, you're supposed to be helping me, not throwing barrels at me. Why is there a factory on this island? Like, come on, this is going to seriously pollute everything here. And there's a mine. People, you need to start taking better care of the environment. If this level is really a poison pond, then how are we able to swim through it just fine? This blackout stage honestly hurts my eyes because of how often the level flashes from being light to dark. So, once you beat the game and the credits roll, Diddy Kong plays a trick on Donkey Kong and steps on his feet. And do you want to know how DK reacts? He punches him hard on the head. That was a bit of an overreaction, but it gets worse because after Diddy Kong recovers from that, DK sneaks up behind him and kicks him in the ass. Guys, you're all family here. Can you please stop being dicks to each other? So, that was Donkey Kong Country, and it's really good. It has its own charm and character, and it brought a whole new spin on a 2D platformer, which is awesome. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like, and go check out my other trigger videos, which I'll leave in the description below. Also, it turns out that 91% of you watching this aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you thought this video was cool and see a big red subscribe button, make sure to click it so you can see more videos like this in the future. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know down in the comments how Donkey Kong Country triggers you. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.